Hey what's up everybody, today we are going to be doing a CSGO video, now I haven't done one of these in a very long time but I'm super excited because a lot of things have been going on lately, so I've been kind of getting back into CSGO, so I'm going to do a little inventory update, we're going to talk about the latest major, and we're going to do a little opening of some of the capsules from the major, I think we're going to do around 40 capsules so yeah, let's kind of get into it. First, I'm going to talk about the actual major itself. The major itself was okay. Um, I'm r not going to lie. I'm really disappointed in the major. Oh, and we're also going to talk about my pick'em. That's another thing. We're going to do that. So Gambit ended up winning the major, which was a surprise. Definitely a surprise. You know what? Let's go to uh, the pick'em. Okay, so in the group stage, I got everything wrong. I'm, I'm telling you this right now. This was the hardest pick'em in history, and it's not my opinion. It was literally the hardest pick'em in history. I'm in the top 26%, and I barely got bronze. Barely got bronze. So I'm telling you right now, this pick'em was hard. So this is my pick'em. SK wrong, Penta hard, uh, uh, wrong, not hard, uh, Cloud9 out, Navi out, G Sports out, FaZe Clan. Right here, right in your screen are maybe the five of the best teams. FaZe didn't even, FaZe went 0 and 3. G2, Cloud9, and Navi, none of them made it into the playoffs. It's crazy. Now, I got Astralis Fnatic in North, right? But, and Penta did pretty good, actually. So that was even surprising. So, now let's go to the playoffs. Even here, the only reason I even got a bronze was because I got Immortals and Virtus Pro down at the bottom. SK got beaten by Astra or yeah, SK got beaten by Astralis, which that was a possibility. I'm okay with that. Gambit beating Fnatic, it it also was possible, but I was really thinking it was gonna be Fnatic, and then uh, obviously next was Gambit versus Astralis, and Gambit won. Who would expect Gambit to beat Astralis? Astralis is known as either the number one or number two, depending on if you want SK or Astralis. Those are the. That's another thing. The seating on this major was terrible. Astralis and SK in one group, that's garbage. But yeah, and then Gambit ended up beating Astralis, and then they ended up beating Immortals, which at the bottom, Immortals versus Virtus Pro. You think this major was in Poland? Virtus Pro always goes ham on majors. You'd think Easy Virtus Pro. No, Immortals beat Virtus Pro. So it's like, ah, uh, this pick'em was infuriating. So at least I got silver, or gold, uh, bronze. Oh my gosh. At least I got bronze. And you know what? I'm actually happy. Again, considering how hard this pick'em was, I'm not even worried about it. Thank you for the bronze. At least, jeez. So yeah, this pick'em was hard. But Gambit did end up winning it. It's kind of surprising. Again, look at the lineups. Now we had FaZe in this. We had Cloud9. We had... Uh, I forgot what other than G2. And then in the playoffs, we ended up having Big, Gambit, Immortals. Like, really? And I mean, Immortals and Gambit went to the final, but I I don't know what happened in this major. It seems like all the best teams didn't show up. And all the... I'm not going to even call them bad teams. They're, no teams were bad. But, like, Big and Gambit went hard. Big actually made it out of the group stages 3-0. I'm telling you right now, not a single person picked big to go 3-0. Not a single person, because it's just, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Okay, so let's talk about a little bit of inventory update, and then you could kind of see. We're going to open a good bit of these. So, if you guys know what happened in my past, you guys can probably check out my old inventory updates. I had like a Crambit Crimson Web worth like 300 something dollars. I had a bunch of guns. I had a bunch of good guns. My inventory at its peak was worth about $700. And then I ended up getting into a little bit of gambling, or a lot of gambling. I ended up losing my $300 knife. And after there, I kind of really got tired of the game within competitive. Oh, and don't mind my... uh. My rank, it's not that good. But, look, I have almost, no, not almost, I have like 1,300 hours, and I've got 365 wins. Look, I'm not bad. I know everyone says that, but I'm not bad. And if anything, in the past three days, I went from Silver 3 to Silver Elite. I can get to Gold Nova anytime, I think, in my opinion. But, anyway, so, yeah, I ended up losing everything, and I kind of quit the game, but... Months later, which is now, I'm like, hey, I'm back into the game. Uh, 
because I was I was into H1Z1 for a while, and I had like a couple hundred dollars worth of H1Z1 items. So what I did, I quit H1Z1 because obviously Player Unknown's Battlegrounds came out, and I'm, I was into that. So I ended up selling or trading all of my H1Z1 items to get a knife. So I went through a couple different knives, and you'll see a lot of the showcases coming up. Uh, but I ended up getting this. Well, I ended up getting uh, a butterfly knife for a DD pat, and I traded that for this. M9 Bayonet Safari Mesh Minimal Wear. Now, the reason I picked this up is because this has insanely good float for a minimal wear. It has a 0 0.7. For minimal wear, that's really good. This is like the best you can get for minimal wear. And it's very clean looking. For a minimal wear, Safari Mesh, this is almost factory new. So this is pretty good. It's worth about $100. And then I ended up get picking up some of my old favorite skins. So obviously the Aquamarine Revenge, I picked up. Uh, water elemental I picked up. These are like my two favorite skins in general. And then I ended up picking a lot of... I wanted to obviously fill my loadout once again. So I got a Stat Track Gum, Stat Track Tech 9, Scout, P90. Pretty much every gun you see here. And we can actually take a look at my loadout. So you can see I'll flip through all of them. I have one gun, most of them Stat Track, for at least every single spot here. So once again, I just tried to fill my loadout out a little bit. Made sure I had some kind of gun for every single place. Obviously, I have my knife. I don't have a pair of gloves, but pair of, the cheapest pair of gloves is like 100 I can't really afford that, but I do have like a... This is like a $40 music kit, so it's pretty good, but I've had this for years now. But yeah, so that's kind of an update on my inventory. I did get back into it. I think my inventory right now is worth around $200, $230. So it's not a bad inventory, considering I lost so much before. Okay, guys, so we got the inventory out of the way. We got the major out of the way, which was still, uh, again, I'm actually happy with bronze considering the way that went. But uh, let's open some of these capsules. So I bought 16 challenger capsules and I bought 16 legends autograph capsules. And we have two two uh, crack off to me legends with like the team stickers and two challengers. So I guess we'll start off with the players. Now these have like. Obviously, all the challenge players and all the legends players. So, legends are the ones that made it into top eight last major. And the challengers are the other eight that qualified in the last major. So, let's go ahead and open the challengers. And so, let's see what we got. We got a bunch of them. Just normals, foils, and golds. That's kind of interesting. I'm really hoping to get some of the golds because the golds look pretty cool. And some of them can be really expensive so I'll talk about each player as kind of we open them Tabson he is from big once again big went 3-0 they surprised a lot of people going 3-0 and Tabson was one of the big reasons they did go 3-0 he went absolutely insane during a lot of the games Stewie 2k so right now probably known as the best player in cloud 9 maybe automatic can be there but right now known as the best player in cloud 9 of course he carried a lot of his games on their back, but they n didn't really end up making it in the playoffs, but they still had a pretty good showing. Chris J from Maus. So, Maus has a reputation of getting into the majors, but never really coming out of it. Once again, they did that. He didn't really show up that well, to be honest. He, he did decent, not very well, but he was always there. Lucas1 from Immortals. He is the twin brother of Hen1, which is the star player of Immortals. Obviously, they made it to the finals, so he did show up. Uh, not as big as his brother, but he did show up. And they didn't win the final, but they did have a really good running. Oh, Kenny S. Foil would have been expensive, or a good amount of money. But Tabson, once again, I already talked about him. Uh, he really showed up for his team. So big, uh, they definitely deserved it. They had a pretty big controversy during the major uh, with, with this jump bug, but... Uh, automatic Cloud9, like I said, probably one of the best players out there in the North American scene, along with Stewie2k. Showed up, didn't make it out, but yeah. JR uh, from Vegas Squadron. So, Vegas Squadron, I think, went 0-3. and three. They're one of the teams that made it in somehow, and of course, they didn't show up. So, JR, not a very good player. I mean, in the grand scheme of things. World Edit Foil. Uh, flip side... Once again, they're one of those teams that makes every major for some reason, and they never end up doing that good. So, it's a foil, but as the player himself, not very good. Didn't make it into the playoffs. Never really was good. Oh, uh, I just saw gold. Shroud. 
uh, one of the legends from Cloud9. Um, er, any experienced CSGO player or watcher knows he has, hasn't been doing very good. He's still on the team, but oh, a Shroud Foil would have been so good. Sunny, Keeve. Keeve is the opper from Big. Uh, he did pretty good. I mean, obviously, all of them had to do pretty good to go 3-0, but yeah, Tap Keeve wasn't like the star player, but he did do pretty good, so that's very good. Uh, ah, man, I'm missing all these good foils. Oscar from Maus. Uh, he's one of their newer pickups. He did decent. He didn't do very good. Uh, not compared to a lot of the other games they've had, but... Crystal from Big. Why am I getting all the big players? I don't even like Big, to be honest. Or no, this is Penta. This is Penta, not Big. Let's get into the next one. Let's see what we get. I'm still looking for maybe one gold, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Lucas one. Uh, okay, so another Lucas one from Immortals once again. He did okay. There's a reason they made it to the finals. But, come on. Let me get some of that gold. Let me get a good foil. Let me get a good foil, at least. A next foil. Eh. From Big... He did good. Obviously, Big went 3-0 in the group stage. Um, yeah, he did. He did good. I'm still looking for a good foil. Like maybe, maybe an oh, occasion B would have been nice too. Cold Zero. Okay, SK Cold Zero. SK did pretty good up until the playoffs. They kind of, uh, uh, kind of. They didn't do very good in the playoffs, but. Their brother team, Immortals, was uh, <laughs> a foil tabs and come on. I don't even like big. Why are you guys giving me so many big players? Give me give me something good. Give me a an SK. You know what I mean? A Dennis. Yeah, give me a fanatic. That's what I'm looking for right there. A Dennis. Uh he did pretty good. He had a lot of pistol clutches, but of course he is the pistol god. So Zipnix. Uh probably the like the least best player on Astralis, but of course Astralis is a top two team, so of course he he's good, obviously good. He sh he did decent at the major. Uh, Dogia, known as the X God, he has a lot of memes around him. This major, honestly, I can't even talk about him for 15 seconds and get through him. He's just an amazing person. I can't get through all all of that in this video. Zeus, the team captain of gambit the one that brought them to victory honestly any of the gambit players i'm not going to be able to explain them in 15 seconds they're all just amazing they won the major they showed up simple from navi this is another very sought out player especially a golden simple uh costs a lot of money but uh he showed up he did pretty good obviously they didn't make it in other playoffs but he did pretty good overall olaf meister the best player of 2015 and arguably I think 2016 he showed up kind of he was okay all all the fanatic players did okay JW was the only one that showed up a flamey foil there we go okay I see you um, Navi once again didn't make it to the playoffs they didn't show up very well overall they did pretty bad uh, but flamey is I think in my opinion maybe the top two in their team they did pretty good and we're gonna, and I'll show you guys my souvenir packages that I got. We're actually gonna open one of them by Ali from Virtus Pro. I think probably their worst player on Virtus Pro, in my opinion. But I mean, Virtus Pro is a world class team. They're not that bad, although they have been in a slump before this major. But they always show up to majors. That's kind of an exception. No matter how they are at majors, they always do show up. Device. He is one of the most well-rounded players in the entire scene. He's a rifler, but he picks up the op quite often as the secondary opper on Astralis. A world-class player, arguably at some point the best player in the world about a year ago. And he's still very good to this day. Another flamey, so we did get a foil flamey. I'm still hoping for maybe a golden sticker, that would be pretty cool. And recently, by the way, guys, there's been a little controversy with the golden stickers because they are the exact same as a souvenir. So you could actually scrape off the souvenir off a gun and place a glaive foil? Alright, I see you. Glaive is one of the most recent pickups for Astralis and a big reason why they've been doing so good. He is a very good player. I forgot what team he was in before, but very good player, very good player. But yeah, I forgot what I was talking about, but let's continue. 
what do we get next a config foil okay i see you uh config pretty good pretty good um uh he, i think he was one of the more recent pickups compared to some of the other players did okay uh north did make it to the playoffs which is pretty good Com i mean compared to phase and g2 so come on give me that pasha Ooh, pasha, pasha biceps probably the most liked csgo player at the moment He's just such a good guy. I again can't really talk about him in 15 seconds. He's a really good guy. Probably one of my favorite players too. Nico from FaZe Clan. Some arguably one of the best players in the world, although he hasn't been doing that good recently. Con considering FaZe went 0-3, but that could be because of the other players. I don't know. Come on, I'm still waiting for a gold, man. Never got a gold. That feels bad. And my personally one of my favorite players from Fnatic JW the only one that really showed up this, this major from Fnatic but JW is one of my favorite players so cool we got a couple foils here and there we got two in a row actually we got one they're not some of my favorite players Flamey's cool con like all of them are cool I don't really like Tabson although he did pretty good but we still got two challengers and two legends of the teams to open and all of these are either hollow or foil so at least we get a definite hollow or foil out of these ones, which is pretty good. But let's see if we get one of my favorite teams. Mouse Sports, not one of my favorites, but it is oh, it's a hollow. Not one of my favorites. Definitely not one of my favorites. Let's open a Challengers. Okay, so it's going to be the same one. Let's see what we get. Please not another Mouse Sports. G2, okay, not that bad, not that bad. Um, I would have liked a Cloud9, but G2... Uh, didn't show up, but of course they're one of the more well-liked team because they have a lot of star players. Now these are the ones I'm excited for, challengers. I'm really, really hoping for a Fnatic, a Fnatic, or a PGL, okay. A Phaser Fnatic would be really, really nice. Even a Gambit or Virtus Pro would be nice. Let's see the next one. Yeah, out of those four, I would like anything from those four. North, North Foil. Okay, at least it's one of the better rarities. Oh, the Fanatics are next to it. Okay, okay. Uh, North has at least a good logo. And the last thing we're going to open here is... I got three souvenir packages, and I got pretty lucky. I never got a Cobblestone, which is like $40. But the second most expensive are the Overpass, which are around $6. And I got two of those, so I got fairly lucky most people got like a nasty inferno or a train and i did get one train this one's only like a dollar so i am going to open it so we could open a souvenir and the reason why they're not expensive is they don't have really anything good in them so we're going to open this one souvenir the other two overpasses i'm just going to keep as kind of a memory uh let's see who hold on before i open i want to see what this is uh this is between flipside and immortals uh opened by henrique Oh, so this is Hen1. He's, again, the star player of Immortals. Let's see what we get. Again, probably nothing good. If I get the Red Quartz, I'll be pretty happy. Nope, a Souvenir Urban DD Pat. Probably the best low-class one. And kind of bad sticker placement. Uh, field test. Yeah, that wasn't that good. But I'm probably going to keep that gun as kind of a souvenir. But that was all of it. And yeah, guys, still have, of course, my infamous pistol, the first skin that I've ever gotten for my brother. But yeah, guys, that was pretty much everything. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And yeah, uh, I'll try to come up with a couple more CSGO videos later on, maybe another Frag movie coming up soon, but I've got to play a lot more to get some of those nasty clips in. But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as it supports my channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.